So this video will show you how to uh, attach a IFC file uh, infrastructure foundation class uh, file to Captivate and use that as a reference object to then with the MS60 scan it and see the differences do an inspection um, in real time on site and analyze the results uh, on board the instrument. So I have here a job that I wish to attach a reference file into. So I'll add my reference file and I'll just browse for the file that I want to, to add. So in this case, I'm going to use an IFC store. And you can see here on import, I already have, um, offered the option to enable or disable some of the classes uh, that I might wish or not to import. So I want to use all of them and I'll start this information. You can see here, if I go to my 3D viewer, I have here my, my data. So from there, uh, I have some scan data on this job. So um, I'm going to go to the Inspect Surfaces app. So there's a number of options. Uh, all of them are covered in our online training course, which you can which you can uh, access. Um, but for here, for now, I'll just choose choose from design data, and I want to use clearly an IFC design data. Not to say we don't have another uh, more options, but here we'll just for this one, we'll just focus on that. So here I'm actually going to do a graphical selection of the objects that I want to use um, for inspection. So here I'm just picking the front facade of the hexagon house building, and I want to choose existing scans. Otherwise, I could just measure new points, and I would define it uh, in your scan definition if I was out on site doing it. So I have here in this project uh, five scans. I'll select all of them, and then I can pick a, a template. So the templates are customizable, obviously, with different colors, different thresholds that you can choose if you hit add the edit button. But to keep, for the sake of simplicity, we'll just uh, do that. And again, hit OK. And the software will now compute the difference uh, in terms of distances from the reference object to the scans that I've computed. And it will present results in real time about now. Okay, you can zoom in, you can see the results. Uh, everything green is within tolerance. Everything red might might be or not within tolerance, depends depending on the, 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 the specifications that you that you did. But you could, what you can do is actually also clicking on specific points, it will tell you the distance to, 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 to the surface. And with the MS60, you could actually even take a specific point and add the instrument. Turn to the point and using the red laser dot to indicate an area that could use some fixing. So uh, what else can we do? We can also do an image capture. I can take screenshots from uh, different areas of the screen that I might want to highlight. Capture and start. Nope. So from here, you can generate some deliverables or some reports. Uh, first one, you can do a go into the functions tools and you can have a look at the statistic, statistical report. And here you see that according to the threshold that I defined, 87% of the points are fitting between give or take 10 mils. I can also generate a, a HTML style of report. So if I pick that section over here, I can choose a report, save it to, uh, to my controller. I'm picking the SD card here, and I'm choosing the output file. So I'm going to hit OK. Yes. No, I don't want to create another report. Opening up the HTML file. So this opens in essentially any browser, Edge, Firefox, Chrome. Um, you can analyze the, the report, so time of creation, time step is important for traceability, reference object, uh, how many scans and how many points were used, some statistics about the, the, the comparison, which will depend obviously on the threshold that you find, um, the same histogram as you saw uh, before, and also the screenshots that I've taken on board the instruments just to highlight some of the uh, comparisons 
and have a visual representation of the inspection that has been done on site in real time using both Captivate and the uh, like an over MS60 multi station, as I said we were going to do at the beginning of the video. So clearly, there's many more uh, applications and settings to be done, but I like to keep things simple. On the basis, this is how the application works. Um, feel free to chase us uh, for any additional questions or follow-ups that you might have. Thank you.